Grace Lauren from NorthShoreInsider.com. Good morning. Today is, let me see, Wednesday, February 7th. And um, this is so unreal. And you never know who you're going to meet in the North Shore. Um, Jason is a writer. He is an executive coach. He does it all. And he is also here with us today. And he's going to talk about his book. And uh, we're going to meet him. So hold on one second. Hey. hey. Hello. How are you? Great. Lauren was talking about it. I did write a book. I'm an executive team coach. I wrote a book called How to Self-Destruct, Making the Least of What's Left of Your Career. I figure there's a lot of books out there that tell you how to change and grow, and the reality is, is change is hard, and there's no guarantee you're going to change for the better. So I figured, rather than set everybody up for a tough goal that they don't know if they can make, you know, let's, uh, let's give everybody a goal that we know they can achieve and show them how to get it absolutely wrong from start to finish. You know, one of the things that um, really struck me about our conversation this morning was that um, you know, you say that a lot of people are afraid to admit their career mistakes. Right. And uh, I want you to talk a little bit about that because I've had a million career mistakes. I'm hoping that this isn't one of them right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? Like, uh, yeah, people, they kind of get into their roles and then they want to play their role and they, they forget that we're all human beings. You know, if you start a conversation with, you know, hi, I'm, I'm a human being, you're a human being, and you just relate at that level, you get a much better shot of, of doing the right thing and making the right thing. Why, why would somebody go to Barnes & Noble or Borders and, and say, hey, give me that book about self-destruction? There's three things about my book that are a little bit different from most of the other career development books out there. Number one, it's funny. There's, there's humor. Uh, number two, it's a different voice. Rather than telling you to try and be something that you may not be able to relate to, the book goes through things that we all do. We all self-destruct to some extent. We all sit up too late watching TV. And, and that perspective of the book, by showing you stuff that you actually do and by putting it in a different light, actually makes it easier to figure out what it is you're supposed to be doing. And the third thing is, it's accessible. So not only can you relate to this stuff, but it's actually pretty clear what you're supposed to do afterwards. You know, I'm a okay. guy like everybody else. It's like, look, I, I've tested most of the stuff that's in this book. So this is, you know, some guy who's just like you. And you mean you're some, some guy from Highland Park? I'm some guy who has coffee at Starbucks and, you know, wonders why he's paying three and a half bucks for a coffee. Yeah, it's, it's just like everybody else. Okay, well, that sounds great. Thanks so much, Jason. Thanks, it was Lauren. an absolute pleasure meeting you. And um, for you guys out there in North Shoreland, don't forget to go to um, check out upcoming articles from Jason. He's going to be writing a series for us. So go to NorthShoreInsider.com and look for his article about uh, self-destruction or leadership or any of those kinds of things. Thanks, Thanks again. Bye-bye.